Many cultures have progressed and intrinsic value and consideration has been granted to more people and things. Current attitudes toward the natural world tend to fall within three ethical perspectives. Anthropocentrism is a human-centered view. Non-human things are given little or no intrinsic value. Costs and benefits of actions are evaluated solely on the positive and negative impacts on people. Biocentrism ascribes intrinsic value to both human and non-human life. Biocentrists may oppose clearing a forest, for example, even if it would increase food production for people. Then there's uh, ecocentrism, which judges actions based on their effects on ecological systems, including non-living elements. And the belief for ecocentrists is that Preserving systems also preserve their components, which include life, water quality, and much, much more. During the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century, agricultural economies became industrial ones. Machines replaced human and animal labor. People moved from the farms to the cities. Population rose, resource consumption increased, and pollution intensified. A philosophical movement called Transcendentalism flourished, rejecting materialism and beginning the ideals of preserving nature as a priority to industrial modernization. Conservation and preservation arose with the 20th century. John Muir was a believer in transcendentalism and became politically active by promoting the preservation ethic that we should protect nature in its pristine, unaltered state. Muir's ethic included ecocentrists and anthropocentrist ideals. Gifford Pinchot, the founder of the U.S. Forest Service, had a more anthropogenic view than John Muir. His conservation ethic held that people should use natural resources, but in a wise and careful manner and use resources to provide the greatest good for the greatest number of people for the longest amount of time. Muir and Pinchot represented different branches of the environmental movement, but both opposed the development ethic, which held that people should be masters of nature and promote economic development as a priority.